absolutely ridiculous. This is only for Commander. Because of that, the card will never get banned. It won't get banned, even though the rules committee came out saying that it is on their radar. They won't be able to ban this. Because if they ban this, you're going to have an outcry of people completely freaking out because they dropped one to two hundred dollars on a copy of this card um the fact that this is a singleton format people are going to still want multiple copies of this so they don't have to switch it through uh, multiple decks with it but when it comes down to it this card should not exist and i feel very bad for the community that now has to envelop this card and sit there and go well what the hell do we do with this that that's exactly what it is well that was back in 2020 october 30th 2020 that's why i'm dressed up in kind of a a bloody ass t-shirt i mean this is what i expected nonetheless i said they couldn't ban this card because if they did you would have people fire sailing you would have people sitting there going what do we do i just dropped 200 dollars on this card that i now can't use in a normal format well you know what get rid of the commander committee because they are manipulating the market once again this is this is something we've seen time and again wizards of the coast too very responsible for this scenario because they're the ones that wanted to cater to the commander crowd instead of making magic the gathering what magic the gathering was this these are the reasons why i've stopped playing and stopped collecting magic the gathering sure i'll get a few singles here now and again that look cool just to have in a case that's about it I won't, I don't ever want to touch Magic the Gathering again. And watching this go down, watching the market reacting, people are fire sailing this thing. People are offering $5 now for a Jeweled Lotus because it is absolutely worthless in the eyes of the community. The card is still going to be worth something if you happen to have it in a more casual format, but the casual players don't care for this thing. Nobody wants this thing. The kitchen table is our key for Commander, and now the one card that Wizards of the Coast said, oh, we're going to make this card and placate to the uh, Commander players, it now comes out. Yeah, that's right. The ranty Cinder Shadow is back for this scenario because it's absolutely ridiculous to see this come down. The the new ban list that came out for uh, Wizards of the Coast or for the Commander Committee for Commander, it's absolutely ridiculous. I, I what what else can I say? You know, that was back when I did a series of videos called This Week in Magic. And it was something that I did as a starting point for me to get used to making videos. And so it is a very, very choppy video. It is a very poorly edited. It is me speaking in it is very bad as well. There's a lot of mm, ums and stuff like that. Very much the same as where we are now with the Jeweled Lotus. You go, hmm, now we're banning this thing that people really wanted for their decks because it was something that Wizards of the Coast came out with the power creep of this card in the first place. The Jeweled Lotus, the Black Lotus of Commander cards. Absolutely ridiculous that it was even made. And like I said back in that video, Wizards of the Coast knows better. They're placating to the reserve list. There's a reason the reserve list exists. And now we have a new card that is entering the reserve list territory because the commander committee says we can't have it in any, any sanctioned events for commander, even though it's an unsanctioned uh, format. These certain things, this stuff that I, I've seen in the last little bit, th these are reasons why I quit Magic, why I completely dropped it like a rock, why I said I can't support this game anymore and I can't support Hasbro in the way that they sit there and just do things just for money. They placate to every little tiny detail and not to the general public, not to the general people out there they go okay we're going to make all these secret layers now you know the new final fantasy one that's coming up which i would love to own cards from but i don't want to because it's no longer the identity of magic the gathering it's no longer what magic the gathering was it's now a ip it's the Fortnite of trading card games is what i keep calling it because they don't have an identity anymore Look at Pokemon. At least Pokemon knows what they're doing with their cards. At least they make certain limited edition things out of a meme and do something more and then move on and continue innovating and making more things. 
Magic the Gathering's no longer innovating. They're no longer making things. They're, 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 they're just going to say, okay, we're going to power creep here. We're going to put all these new cards into these new formats. Now they have to buy the new set. And if they don't buy the new set, then we're not going to get sales. And because of that, it now is going to rotate out because we're, they're going to get banned in the long run because we've put too much into it. They no longer placate the, the casual player. They no longer make things for the casual player. They make things that need to be competitive and it elevates the game to a standard that nobody wants to play anymore. This new banning of Mana Crypt and Jeweled Lotus is absolutely ridiculous. And at this point, you have to sit there and go, what's the point in even sticking around with this game? That's why I've stopped. That's why majority of my subscribers here have stopped playing the game. Why I've moved past making Magic the Gathering content. I, I don't find it fun. I don't find it enjoyable. I find it frustrating as all hell. And seeing a community that's now riling after this new bannings from the Commander Committee that apparently was in the works for over a year, I mean, what else do you want? I, there, there's not much more I can tell you. I moved away from this game because of the way things were going. Make pro make all the proxies you want with this game. I used to be anti-proxy. I used to be anti-everything uh, because I used to enjoy the artwork and used to want to support the artists when it came down to the game. But with Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro don't even don't even support the artists anymore. What is it with the new Hasbro with Dungeons and Dragons and uh, going forward they're going to use more AI art in their stuff? That's an actual article that came out. This is the Hasbro is walking a very thin path at this point, and now watch, watching these cards get banned for Commander that were that especially the Jeweled Lotus that was made for Commander for commander players no longer for the casual player for the more for the more competitive players in commander which honestly if you're playing commander to be competitive you're you're playing the game wrong that's the problem kitchen table or bust at this point and so does this ban really change anything no not really because now those that do play a kitchen table can now pick up this card and put it into their deck. The problem is, is do you want this in your deck? Even in the ban list, they even talk about Soul Ring, how, how Soul Ring falls into the same category as the Jeweled Lotus. That's something I said back, I believe, during a live stream, saying there's no difference with this card. This card is meant to ramp you early on in the game, and... I've seen, I've seen commander decks that win on turn two, turn one. It, you sit there and go, why am I shuffling a hundred cards? Nobody wants to shuffle a hundred cards just to lose in their first round. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's a casual format to begin with. And Wizards of the Coast needs to step it back and step away from making cards for commander because that's the problem. Make the commander decks that they were making. Make new commanders for those commander decks and keep those cards there. But don't turn around and make a set. Make a set that says this is Commander Legends. It's only for commander. And putting in cards into a draft set that is solely for a commander format. They want to make these things. Make them as a special order. Make, them, make those the secret layers. Instead, they sit there and they make a Jeweled Lotus. Put it in as the key card for uh, Commander Legends. And now look where we are. Look at where we are. It's now cratering faster than a asteroid hitting the moon. How much more am I, do I need to really rant on these things? I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in the Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. This has been a little bit of a rant for the new banning from the Commander Committee and Wizards of the Coast. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.